What's the hardest part about being a steer athlete? Um, juggling sports and uh, girls and girls. Just finding time to balance everything. Not missing classes and just trying to do all the work that we miss while we're out of town. Yeah, finding time to fit everything in. I don't get to sleep enough. <laughs> what is the hardest part about being a student athlete? I would say the hardest part is keeping the girls away. I don't know, it's a struggle. I would say having to balance everything. Uh, just finding time to study and do all my homework and make sure I'm kept up on my grades. Time management because we're, we're always busy. Fighting off the girls. <laughs> Doing well academically. I uh, have problems with time management, which is the biggest task. What is the hardest part about being a student athlete? Probably juggling all of your obligations and dealing with all the muggles. Balancing sports and school and living out with friends. People are handing me alcohol and drugs left and right now. What is the hardest part about being a student athlete? I would say Management. Definitely time management. Finding the ladies' home. Yeah. Finding time to fit everything. Um, I think the hardest part is finding time to do homework and fit in sleep and make time to be able to Definitely time management. Uh, we're on the field, we're in the weight room, we're in team meetings, and then on top of that, we have so much commitment to our studies that uh, you really end up running out of time in the day to get it all done. And so it's a matter of managing out your time and planning your day accordingly so that you can be the most productive. You are my fire, the one desire. I want it that way. But we we celebrate every day like it's our birthday. Follow yeah. the following. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind. I can... Oh my goodness, I can't find anything. I need, I need my case study. Can I? I need my notebook. This is so horrible. Oh, this is so nice. Um, okay, I need my case study for, for school, and then I have my notebook, I'm all organized and ready to go. How do you successfully manage your time as an athlete? I sit down and then write my schedule out day by day, hour by hour. I guess getting time, you know, stuff done on time is the biggest thing. You have to really emphasize on doing it when you have the chance to do it instead of pushing it off for the last minute because sometimes the last minute is not there as an athlete. I just have to be able to make sure I get all my homework done on time either before practice or after practice. I usually try to get it done all before so I can just eat and go to bed after practice. So I have to have some kind of schedule. I like to write things down. I like to have a schedule so I know when things are due so I don't procrastinate. I'm in the zone. Hey, Colin. You want to do a Christmas caroling? Um, yeah, maybe. Let me check my planner real quick. Nice planner. Thank you. I like. I'm sorry, I can't. I have to do drills at the sack. Or I would, but. Cool. Sorry. What do you do to successfully manage your time so you can excel academically and athletically? The best thing I do to manage my time is keep a planner. So I can write down everything I need to do in the day. I use a planner.
happening. A friend's date night, you promise. I know, but I just needed to get this done by the end of the week. Fine, whatever. Whatever. Sorry. No, don't. Don't even talk to me. Yo, Yo bro. You want to go play basketball with us? Oh, yeah. Let's talk Awesome. Shot to the heart, and you're too late, darling. You give love a bad name. What do you do to successfully manage your time as an athlete? Yeah, I'm you're all good. I'm going to do a lot of Eating anything pleasurable or enjoyable. I have no life. Try to determine what is more important and how much time each activity is going to take. Well, it's like I always say, I do today what you can do tomorrow. So I like set out my schedule of everything I need to do for that week and then wait till the very last day to do it. <laughs> uh, you just gotta be smart and, and know and have good priorities. You just know how to manage your time and make sure you get your schoolwork done uh, first. That's more hey guys, today our flight is, um, is running a little behind. We have about 20 minutes till arrival. Uh, it's partly cloudy in Chicago. The sun is looking down upon us and it looks pretty nice, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we should be arriving any minute. Flight 194 is in front of us, so we have to wrap our plane around one more time, and then we can land. Get off Facebook. We got a steady anatomy. What? We got a steady anatomy. You're studying again? Listen, you have to take advantage of the travel time. When we get to the court, we're gonna have to go play. That's probably a good point. You guys should get my book down. We get your book. Let's study. What do you do to successfully manage your time as a student athlete? Well, when we travel and stuff like that, there's a lot of downtime on the bus or on a plane. So it's really like in your best interest to do your homework or study for a test because lots of times you're going to have to reschedule things um, with your teachers. And so when you get back, you're going to have to jump right into things. And if you're not going to take advantage of the time that you have on the bus or something like that, you're, it's really easy to get behind, so that way it's not so stressful for you. Like traveling, we have a lot of time to just like sit around, especially on planes or buses, so uh, that helps. Yeah. yeah. E equals MC squared. War of 1812 was in 1812. First president of the United States, George Washington. equals mc squared. The war in 1812 was in the year 1812. What do you currently do to try and make sure you find that balance between academics and athletics? Uh, I usually um, do study hall every week. So that helps. The only way I get things done is if I go to the library. So when I get done with my sport or my like days over, I'll come up here and eat dinner, and then most of the time I head to the library for a good two to three hours just to knock stuff out. Um, I think just like starting early, like um, on setting my my test. And I already know what it is. <laughs> ATL. We got to do. Hey Colin, this is Coach. Um, I was just calling to let you know that practice has been changed to 10. Are you kidding me? Gossip Girl comes on at 9.55. How do you expect me to be there in five minutes and watch Gossip Girl? Colin, you're a student athlete. Figure it out. <coughs> what
What do you do to successfully manage your time as a student athlete? Um, well, a lot of the times we get like short notice practices or texts at you know eight o'clock at night saying we have practice at six in the morning. So it's best to just kind of keep a flexible schedule to not really get too busy. I know we like to go and have fun as much as possible, but as a student athlete, you really got to keep your time available for getting things done, whether it be a surprise assignment you didn't know for class or some practice that you forgot about and you have in 10 minutes. But keeping a flexible schedule is probably the best way for me. So from your freshman year until now, has your time management skills changed and if so, how? I'd say they changed a little bit. They've definitely gotten better with the experience. Um, I used to be really bad. I'm still not great about procrastinating, but I know now just you know from making mistakes and like missing assignments, about too many assignments this time, just to go ahead and get them done and not put them off and you know wait till the last minute to do it. Freshman year, I didn't have very good time management skills. I would wait till the last minute to do everything and stay up all hours of the night to finish things. De definitely can tell a difference because there was much more of a plan and a process to managing my time now. Have you seen a change from your freshman year to now in your time management skills? And if so, how so? I go to bed earlier and I don't spend as much time playing video games. Since my freshman year till now, my time management skills have gotten a lot better. I've gotten a lot better at procrastinating and I've gotten a lot better at managing my time so that I can get my stuff done when it needs to get done.